Alex. And he gave me the card, and I was like, all right, well, that's cool, too. I'm trying to look for somebody to learn from. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, let me, I'll give this a shot. And um, I went over there, and this was the first person, at least in this area, you know, that I saw their work, and I was impressed by the work. Gotcha. I was like, wow, this dude can fucking, he can draw. Yeah. He's not, he's not just doing tattoos. I was like, I can tell by the way he's doing these tattoos that this guy can actually draw. And this is now the third shop that I'm trying to get into. Now I show up with a fucking stack of drawings that I've been doing this whole time that I've been working on when I'm not tattooing. Yeah. I showed up with a stack of drawings. I show up with like a portfolio from the school and a like a I think like a CD now with my photos of tattoos on there. Yeah. And MP3. Me, yeah. yeah <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> Put it into the Windows show, 2000. I showed him so he can get a real resolution yeah. instead of these printed out sheets, yeah. you know? And he tells me later on, he was like, I saw your tattoos and I thought they sucked. But because of the the sketchbook, that's why I hired you. Okay, so the tattoos themselves didn't get you the job. The it was the other work. Yeah, it was the artwork. And it was the fact that I had all these sketchbooks with means that I actually like to do the shit. It's not like I was only doing you it were for trying finished to, products. Got you, I was yeah, only yeah. doing it for homework. You were doing the work. I was doing the work, and I I was doing it for myself. Yeah. You know, and he saw that, and he was like, all right, he likes to draw. And he's, he, he, and he's good. And he saw, like, cross-hatching and kind of patterns and stuff that I was doing, like these marks in my artwork that could translate into tattoos. You know, it showed foundation there. Got you. And then he brought me in. And it was more like I just kept showing up, you know, that's what they said. So I, I scheduled appointments with him, and then I kept showing up. So I was going to school at NCC, the community college in Norwalk here in Connecticut. And after I would get out of class, I would go over there, and I would just break down his station and set him up. He never asked me to do any of that shit, but I watched him do it one time, and after that, I was like, all right, I'm going to help him out and do this shit. Because he's helping me out by letting me watch. Yeah. And I was still tattooing in my garage. And I remember it happened like this. I was tattooing a guy. It must have been like December. And I was tattooing him in his garage. It was cold as fuck. I'm wearing a hoodie, you know, hoodie and jacket. I got my North Face on. And the dude's in his wife beater because I'm tattooing. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. So now I'm tattooing. I think it was like his chest or something or like upper arm and shoulder. He's got half the jacket on. He's shivering and shit. And I'm tattooing. I'm like. I was like, are you good? He's like, yeah, I guess, man. Like, let's just keep doing this tattoo. And I I came back to the shop. And I told Alex about that. I was like, my man was freezing yesterday when I was tattooing him. I was like, I did the best I can. Like, here's a picture. <laughs> he was like, yo. He was like, hell no. <laughs> I can't have you as my student running out in these neighborhoods fucking tattooing people like that. Yeah. So he was like, listen, come here. <laughs> you can start tattooing here, but don't tell anybody you work here. Heard. Like, bring your own people. And I can watch you do this, but don't tell people this is work coming from the shop, you know? Heard. And I was like, cool. I, I started doing that. I did that for maybe like a month. And then it was like February of 2011 when he was like, hey, do you want? if you want to work here, you can start working here full time. Yeah. And that's when it started. I was 21. And I did. I started tattooing like the kitchen stuff at two at 19 yeah 2009 so i had spent two years trying to get into the industry getting tattoos that i didn't like getting fucking the door shut on me multiple times and i finally showed up at 21 at the shop with an artist that i actually liked their work and he was an artist first so he didn't care about the money he would literally just just only worried about the artwork you know and that was a blessing in, in that he didn't care how long a tattoo took me. You know? He wasn't like, yo, there's another guy here. You got to get this done, you know? Yeah. It was like, I'd rather you only do one tattoo all day long and that shit come out perfect rather than, you know, you, you did 10 and we made a bunch of money. Yeah. You know? So that, having that attitude at that early definitely set me up where I needed to be and I don't think any of the other guys would have gave me that either I know a lot of artists with bad habits because of that because of that's how the 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 environment they started like we gotta make money this is about the money and not about the art yeah yeah and then it's like 
speed before accuracy. They they don't really care as much to like trying to do everything perfectly. Yeah. So then by the time you get to start worrying about speed, that one's supposed to be later on, you know? And and then having it flipped, you're never going to be accurate fast if you aren't even accurate slow. Yeah. You know? Heard that. Yeah. Man. So this is your first shop. How long did you work there total? Four years. Four years? Four years, So yeah. t- from 2011 to 2000... 2011, 2015. 15. Okay, got you. Yeah, so 15, I'm, I'm guessing that at uh-huh. that time, that's when you were, that's when you met Natalie. Yeah, I met, I met my wife, met Natalie, um, two years into tattooing. Got you. I was tattooing her cousin actually. Uh huh. Yeah, and this is her cousin. The hairdresser. Yeah. Amanda. yeah okay, Amanda. Amanda. And I was working on. Shout her. out to Amanda. What's the salon? She that. The, painted the painted goddess, goddess in Monroe, Connecticut. The painted goddess in Monroe, Connecticut. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, she's she's good too, and she was doing this really cool um, butterfly elephant. Yeah, but it, yeah, was, a it was a silhouette of an elephant, uh-huh. and like photorealistic color butterfly color inside butterfly. of it. And she came to my job one day, and she had they just showed to me, and I was like, oh my god, I'm like. I, I want to get tattooed by this person. Yeah, you know? by this person. Gotcha. Uh-huh. So you saw his art before you even knew who the hell he was. Exactly. And I was you like, had no fuck clue who she was. No, 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 no. 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 And so then no, I, I started following him on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was before DMs and all that stuff. <laughs> so, and you know, for anybody who had a lot of followers. Uh, be commenting and stuff. Even having pictures of himself. So but you're telling me? I'm sorry, because I, I, I came into the Instagram game a little bit late. There was no DMs. It didn't. Didn't no, have DMs no, before. No, no, just no comments DMs. and likes. That's it. So it wasn't a dating site before then. No. Okay, great. No. <laughs> no, no, All right. No. You had to shoot your shot out in the open. So oh, Natalie no. was shooting her shot out in the open. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you were like, okay. So, uh, Manny, you meet, when's the first time you met Natalie? Like, Matt, Matt. Um, I had, there was an artist from the shop because I started following her. And like at that time, like Instagram was so new and I had so little followers and that I was really like looking at every single person who started following me. You know, I was like, who who is this? What are they about? You know? Yeah. Do I, I want saw, these people? Do I want this person following me? At that time, you know, it was like you want to build a yeah, following. I, hear and I just you. I just wanted to know who these people are. You I know? hear you. And I saw a picture of her. I, you know, I immediately I thought she was beautiful, you know. And then I'm looking through her feed, and I see a picture of her with her cousin. And now I hit her cousin up. I was like, who is at Natalie Marie? <laughs> I was like, who is this? And she even joked. She was just like, what, are you in love or something? Yeah. I was like, no, I just want to get to know her. Yeah. She was like, well, if you fall in love, know that I get tattoos for life. I get free tattoos for life. <laughs> is that true? That is true. <laughs> Damn. All right. Tattoos. She did get the hookup. That's great. Yeah, she called it. She called it, man. Yeah, she already knew. Uh huh. Damn. Okay. I am lovable. She is really matchmaker. Lovable. So when I finally met her, like one of the artists wanted to go like shoe shopping, and Natalie worked at this little. <laughs> What was that? Is this his ring soap? That was his water? Really? I gotta say, Natalie said she had a light hand, but this is the most painful tattoo I've ever had. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. So, Natalia, who is my cousin, who I didn't have a choice in meeting or being a friend with. But but luckily, you know, for sure, was... I told my story, and the, that was the first uh, house that we moved to over here in the States. Mm-hmm. You were born in Stanford, right? Yeah. Am I right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and her brother, Ivan, which was, who was over the house yesterday, yeah. mm-hmm. he was the one that showed me wrestling, and I am super yeah. grateful for that. I still, to this day, I'm like, yo, thank you, Ivan, for showing me what that is, because I'm still a huge fan. Exactly. The world of wrestling. For sure. So you lived in Stanford, and then you went. You went to. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. Um, yeah. Your schooling. You went to a lot of good schools in your life. 
I do remember that. Yeah, like magnet schools. You know, you were always like placing high. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I think I fast forward a little bit too far, but you were in commercials when you were oh, little, yes. right? I was an infomercial star. Yeah. You know, and they were about Natalie says, I have asthma, and that's what they were about. They're, yeah. Like the American Lung Association and PBS kind of funded this thing. It was like one minute short. So yeah. Talk about, you know, like the dangers of cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> to, to like asthma hammers, you know, yeah. and like what to do with your pets, and it was really cute, um, but, that, and that was a good time. Yeah, I mean, I think you've always yeah, been yeah. an artist, you've always, uh, yeah. you know, been in plays, and you yeah. sing, and you, mm-hmm. you know, you've always had artistic outlets in yeah. my whole life knowing you, yeah, and, and it's always been really important to me, to for sure. to express myself in yeah. that way. Yeah, <laughs> so I could see how you, you know, fell, yeah. fell for Manny, for sure. Yeah. Manny and I met as in an interesting space where, like, really the only place I was expressing myself was, like, through fashion. You yeah, know, yeah. Like dressing and For that sure. kind of thing. And, um, you know, I met Manny because I was starting to get tattooed. Mm-hmm. And I had one tattoo when we met. And I really wanted to get tattooed. I He had different plans for us. I ended up with my <laughs> boyfriend before I ever got a tattoo. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then basically went... I went to school for psychology. Yeah, yeah. Even though, like, I really wanted to go to school for music, but you know that, like, perfectionism and yeah. failure kind of stops you sometimes. But when I went to my first tattoo convention, I realized that Manny had introduced me to my tribe. You know what Yeah, I mean? yeah, to your people. You know I mean? Heard like, that, I, yeah. I've never felt so at home, um, you know, before. And I always wanted to have a lot of tattoos. I know, like, I was super religious as a kid, and I yeah. was kind of battled with this like desire to really be myself and like what these beliefs were that yep. put on me um but then when i saw like the multifaceted group of people who get tattooed and you know really expressing themselves putting who they are on the inside on the outside of their body mm-hmm. and i was like this, these are my people so not only like i never wanted to leave the industry yeah um, so immediately like he took me to my first convention yeah. and i started working the booth like off rip because i'm the more social one yeah yeah for us, sure for know? sure um so i was ready like promoting him walking around and I, <laughs> you know, like, by, by the second one i had a t-shirt made with his instagram like i'm ready like <laughs> So you guys kind of started working together almost instantaneously. Yeah. Instantaneously. Almost. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How long um, before you sort of knew like this is fucking this is it like um th- this is serious this is gonna be marriage this is gonna be life here. Uh, was that pretty soon after? Did you guys like, like date? It was pretty soon. It was like frighteningly fast. Our yeah, yeah, for like, sure. I, I felt like we were we dove right in. Yeah. To this comfort like to this place of comfort and trust mm-hmm. and. Um, both of us were almost fighting, like falling in love. We were like, wait, wait, I don't, I don't want to. Like, I'm too young. I might be too young, but I don't know. I don't want to be fast with these emotions. Yeah, you know, we have both yeah. been hurt and all that other stuff that brings you to a, a good relationship, right? Yeah, and all the bad stuff. And then, you know, both of us were like, wait, I don't know if I'm ready. But mm-hmm. ultimately, since we were both feeling that way, then I guess we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, eight months in, he was living at my house with my yeah. mom and I. You know, yeah, that's right. Quick, yeah, I remember. You know, yeah, like, by a year. And at that time, change, we, we had a pretty good relationship, like oh, yeah, amazing. Like, and I remember that was one of. The, I was like, well, I gotta meet him if this guy's legit. Yeah. So you guys, you came up to eat at the the Tallulah on Thames. Yeah. In Newport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was the that was first. One of the best meals I've yeah. Ever had in my Thank life. you. Yeah. And that was the first. That was the first taste for me of. One, uh, reaping the benefits of all my hard work because Chef let me eat that night with you guys. I remember that. I remember that. And I got to see the other side of it. And then also just like forming this relationship that would later just continue. And we would go out and have these nice meals with each other and, and share the company and, you know, whatever, whatever happens. Um, yeah, that was amazing. I mean, we still talked about that little butter. With, oh, the with the micro With the micro... I have oh, a... I found a picture geez. of those. I found a picture of those I things. I remember you made the gnocchi that we ate. That That's right. Yeah, I did. You're like, I pressed yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, it was delicious. Too, yeah, great. yeah. And they showed us so much love. They brought out a nice bottle of wine for us. Yeah. We brought a bottle too, but they, they pulled one out for yeah, us. Yeah, for sure. You mm-hmm. brought us into the atmosphere of like fine dining. Like we always love to go out to eat. Yeah. We've been like foodies forever. Yeah. But like going to eat like at that restaurant like made us feel that five-star treatment. Yeah. They were like treating us like VIPs because we're your people. Yeah, you know? that's right. 
But it was like, hold yeah, we were, up. We were I'm hooked. never going back. <laughs> I put a napkin on my lap. That's like, right. I feel like I won't need this forever. <laughs> that was, I mean, that was the beginning.